Sell crazy someplace else. We're all stocked up here. Hey everybody, this is Birch, and there's no way I can really do this video without uh, somebody saying, there's my car, like beeping, saying, don't do this video, don't do it. It's just going to make people mad. So, uh, but there's there's no way to do it without coming across a little cruel. Um, but so you're just going to have to believe me that so, that in my heart, um, I, I do not, this is not a cruelty thing. This is not uh, making fun of the misfortunate. This is actually asking a legitimate question. And, uh, and, and honestly, it's coming from a place of like, Hey, you know, I don't like to see people suffer. Um, so to, to lead into this, I'll, I'll ask you this question. Have you encountered the experience? You had the experience where you're thinking to yourself, Hey, you know, maybe I need to put, you know, my parents in some kind of assisted living facility. Has it come time that them being alone, either I'm going to have to move in there or I'm going to have to hire somebody to be there because this person being at home alone is not going to work. You know, they're, they're going to burn the house down. They're going to, you know, forget something. They're going to leave clothes on top of the stove and, and light it up. I, whatever it happens to be, there's going to be something that happens. And, you know, whether it's a you know mental issue or whether it's a physical issue, maybe, you know, you have an elderly relative live in a house with, with stairs, three or four floors, and, you know, they, they broke leg or hip or something. They can't get up and down. You, you think about these things. At what point do I need to step in and go, hey, you know, uh, I'm a functioning adult and um, I, you know, I, I am able to, I have control of all my faculties. Again, not saying this is a cruelty thing, just saying this as a, you know, maybe this is something that, you know, we should worry about kind of thing. And uh, this person needs help. Um, generally speaking, unless you're, a, you know, a, some kind of sick bastard, uh, you, you, you don't think about these things in terms of, you know, like I, I, I'm, I'm doing this out of, out of punishment or anything like that. You generally think about these things as I care about what happens to other people. And these people are, uh, this, this person is exhibiting a, uh, you know, a condition that means that probably somebody needs to step in here and kind of just help, you know, help steer the ship a little bit. Um, I don't want this person to die. I don't, I want this person to live comfortably. I don't want this person to accidentally kill themselves. You know, I, I'm, I'm concerned to the point that I'm looking for help. I'm sure, you know, we've all, I, probably you've seen those movies where like the young people stuff, the rich elderly people in a home so they can take all their money, you know, those kind of schemes. I'm sure that I'm sure that happens. But by and large, people, uh, you know, when they when they look for help for people who are uh, who need it, it's coming from a place of love. OK, so that's that's that is where I'm coming from. Um. It is not a place of cancellation. And one of the things that, that exists on social media that unfortunately is, is all too common now is this idea that, hey, uh, we, should, um, we should cancel these people. Hey, this person, you know, we should, we should run them out of town. Not because we love them. We're not actually looking for help. We're looking to scorn and isolate them. That's a, that's a very different thing that's going on. It's very different. Uh, you know, dr driving force that's happening there. So I know, again, I know, I know there's been a lot said about what people tweet and in particular things, you know, shenanigans that comic uh, writers, comic artists get up to on social media. And, you know, I, I, who's not, you know, everybody's clowned on people losing their mind, what, like Chuck Winding talking about Republicans eating shit or something like that, you know, these kind of very angry, angry posts. And, and that's not professional when somebody does that. Don't get me wrong. It's definitely not a professional thing for somebody to do, to spaz out on someone and wish people were dead or, you know, even the kind of the, the subtle uh, nonsense that, you know, an editor might, those people are bad people. I just received a note from one of those people, you know, that kind of stuff. That's not what I'm talking about either. You don't read that and go, you know, this person needs help, but you know, maybe, maybe it, uh, you know, may, maybe you start to think that, but by contrast, I'm talking about when people post things that say stuff like, uh, you know, Hey, I, uh, I'm unable to get out of bed today. So I just, you know, laid in bed and, and, uh, didn't do work and ate pizza and then just wiped the pizza on my naked body. I'm so depressed. 
it's 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 post and that's not an imaginary post that's what a very prominent uh member of the comics community posted and they weren't joking um it's it's that stuff where you go should somebody is it like is it the responsibility of the publisher maybe to kind of lean in a little bit and go hey um you know you you, you i'm going to get you some help you know i you, you just a little concerned that you are you are not capable of taking care of yourself, and so I think I think some help is in order. Um, if you write another night of getting off this app, and all I can think is that I don't want to die, and I don't want to be isolated, I don't want to start up again. Like at some point, you're like, where is this drama in your writing? You know, like don't you think? I mean, it's clearly a call for help. It's a cry for attention. But at what point should we start look at you know looking at stuff like this and go all right um, this you know if you're if you're doing this as a you know kind of pathetic uh, attempt to get attention to yourself um, not really appreciate it. There's people with actual mental problems that are you know not being taken care of because you're trying to get likes on Twitter. Um, so you know we're gonna start. You're gonna have to either cut this shit out or we're gonna we're gonna actually start taking it seriously. I mean we're gonna get a counselor to come and talk to you because. You know, we're afraid that you're going to do something to yourself. Literally. I mean, honestly, again, coming from a place of love. Or, you know, maybe, you know, a, a prominent writer uh, posting, I did not wake up this morning anticipating to be two teeth lighter, but I learned something about myself today. I've been afraid of going to the dentist for years. and has nothing to do with pain, but the understanding of a poverty as a moral failing. And then a thread develops from there. You read this, and and clearly, I would be thinking, um, I don't want to give this person work in my company because I'm afraid that you know that I mean this this is just not somebody I want writing some of the biggest brand superheroes in the universe. I don't think they uh, the the sensibility doesn't match, and and uh, you know also I, I mean I I didn't wake up this morning thinking that I had a requirement that all my writers uh, had their teeth, but you know here we are. Um, I w I would not think to give, I would think to give myself like, Hey, I wonder if there's like a social service kind of person I should call like a, like a, you know, like a suicide help watch person. Like, should I get this person in touch with a therapist or a counselor or maybe somebody who could get this person on the right track and help steer them to a place of, you know, again, I think there's a major difference between, you know, uh, we know who all the Republicans are and we will remember you. I mean, that's just mean spirited, but you don't, and, and maybe you might say this person has some level of derangement syndrome, but you don't, you don't read that and go to yourself. Uh, yikes, this person uh, needs to go to a, an assisted living home. You don't think that, but when you do have somebody posting about teeth falling out or, uh, you know, just, just kind of losing parts of their body, uh, if you're having thoughts of suicide because Elon Musk wants to charge eight dollars for Twitter, like like that's where you get into a different zone of, all right, it's not about cruelty, it's about you you're you're nuts. And so I know a lot of you are going to want to come in because it's fun to clown on people who uh, you know are are you know morally preach at you on a regular basis and then fall apart. Everybody loves the hypocrisy of that or the karma of that or however you want to, you know, we all love a good story of somebody getting theirs. But I'm asking legitimately, uh, is is it time for some of these folks for, uh, yes, folks, F-O-L-K-S, uh, screw you, people who don't like folks. I'm going to use folks. I own it. Don't care. Okay, folks, folks. Anyway, um, is it time to, to, to like, do it, do it, like, where, where's the charity to help with the mental state of some of these people? Because, because seriously, uh, this is, uh, this, this is, this is batshit crazy. And, um, you know, you, you just, you hate to see it happen. You know, you ever, you, you heard those people talk about, you know, homeless people, you don't like to, you know, you don't want them to suffer, you know, and one of the big arguments, uh, against just, you know, Seattle as an area, which is like, let's leave the homeless alone. You know, let's let them have their dignity. Yeah, there's not dignity in uh, laying out on the sidewalk in a old tent with holes in it and coming close to freezing to death every night. That's not letting somebody have their dignity. That's cruelty. Somebody clearly needs help. Clearly, maybe it doesn't have the mental state or is drug addled or whatever it happens to be. Um, it is not healthy to be in that position. So, 
you know, let, let's, uh, let's, let's stop, you know, like, like with, uh, the homeless people that you don't want to see freeze to death some night because they're in a, a shitty state and you're just trying to ignore them. Maybe we need to do something a little different for some of these, uh, writers and artists that are, uh, you know, again, not the angry ones. I'm not suggesting somebody who says, you know, CG is bad. You know, that's a different, that's a whole different ball game, but people you know, like, I, what is that bar? I think, you know, some of your teeth fell out of your mouth. Um, you know, I can't afford a sandwich. And so I may start, I'm like, like there's some level of this where you're like, all right, time for, you know, like we would do with an elderly relative that can no longer take care of yourself. Time, time to, you know, pack them up into the van and take them to a home. That's, we need a, uh, we need a home. That's, that's my thought. I don't know. Um, there, there you go. Just had to get that off my chest. There's been a, a high, high increase. I understand Elon Musk buying Twitter was apparently traumatic for some, and it's coming at the midterms. And, you know, there's the feeling that the Republicans might pick up a bunch of seats, and that's driving people batshit crazy. But, uh, you know, it, it will be okay. No, it really will. And don't, don't put that bullshit in like, not for the women who can't get abortions. I, it, it, look, look, there are definite serious things that people need to take care of. There's definite evils and dangers in the world. For sure, um, you, you, keep, you, you shouldn't have teeth falling out of your mouth because of your views on poverty. I, you know, c- come on, come on. I appreciate that you're, uh, you're wanting to teach a lesson somewhere in there, but you're, you're, all you're telling me is it's time to go to a home. Yeah, am I wrong? Thanks for listening.